Hey everyone, welcome to Professor Long's Lectures in Anatomy and Physiology. I'm Professor Bob Long. Uh, either you guys are enrolled in my class and you see my Canvas page here, or you stumble across these videos on YouTube. If you're not in my class, please learn the material the way that your instructors want you to learn it. If you're in my class, this is what I want you to know. Now, today's video is a lab video. This is the lab video over mitosis, okay? I'm gonna show you some things about navigating Canvas and finding the pictures of the lab models. You should already know this. We're about, oh, I don't know what, three or four weeks into the semester. If you don't know this already, boy, you're in a world of hurt. You need to catch up very rapidly. Anyway, um, so please uh, follow along. I'm gonna show you how to navigate Canvas a little bit to find some of the images that I'm gonna show you. And then I'm gonna show you the images that I'm going to test you on. So I'm gonna go over the mitosis models again. There is a video for lecture for mitosis. You need to watch that first. Watch the video I've already done on the mitosis models. And then now we're using the microscope that we've gone over to actually look at the models. You guys don't have a microscope since we're not in, in class. We're in this shutdown. Anyway, I'm gonna be in and out of the screen. Um, so bear with me, all right? So now, if you guys are on my Canvas page, you've logged into Canvas, you should see all your classes. You can list them as tiles or list them other ways. You should always have a, a coming up or a list of things to do. And for me right now, my 2402 students are about to take some exams. Um, anyway, so now, uh, all my courses are listed here. If you're missing a course, obviously you go to courses and then you click all courses down here and only the ones that are highlighted with the stars filled in will show up on your dashboard. One of the courses that you need to get into is this anatomy and physiology resources page, okay? Now, you can access this from any of my classes. If you go into a class, your particular shell, you go into the modules. The first module will have the syllabus, the lecture and lab exam schedule, an introductory video about my class, how to navigate Canvas, which you should have already watched, and then find lab images here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this AMP Resources Lab Images link is really important. When you click on that, it allows you to click on this and enroll into that Canvas course. You have to do it yourself. This is how we make sure that only our students have access to this. So when you click on that, it will enroll you in a Canvas course, and then you can go either go directly to the course or you can go to your dashboard. Now, once you enroll in the course, if it does not appear on your dashboard, you have to go make sure it shows up by doing this stuff. Then once it's on your dashboard, you can open this course and there's several things in here. One is all the anatomy and physiology faculty members pages. Another one is instructional videos for study tips and techniques. Now, um, this, these are videos of me teaching students how to study better, how to take tests better, how to be a better AMP student, how to manage your time. So if you're struggling with managing time or how to study properly or any of that, click on this and there will be several videos that pop up, okay? One is study tips and techniques. Uh, well, actually, that's where all the videos are. How to study, time management, test taking techniques, and they're all done sort of in one take in an impromptu setup situation. Anyway, so now um, I'm gonna go back to pages. So when you first come into the course, there will be an area for biology 2401. By the way, here are the answers to a lot of the um, lab reviews or the lab practice sheets that are in your uh, in your lab manual, uh, if you have the latest edition. So for 2401, we have all the pictures for lab practical one, two, three, and four. If you're in part two AMP and so on and so forth. So we're gonna go to lab practical one. And then if you wanna look at the models of the levels of organization, there they are. Molecular, organelles, cell, tissue, organ, organ system, organism. And you can go to the next model if you want. You can download these, print them. This one you can practice body regions, cephalic, cervical, thoracic, abdominal, pelvic, pubic, inguinal, the little fold right there. You can practice all of that, okay? So you can always come to this page, download the pictures. These are the images that we're going to be using 
on the lab test. We copy these images, we put arrows on them and some questions, and you'll have to identify what we're talking about. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. Um, not literally, but although I've eaten frog legs. Uh, so when it comes to all the models, we have the mitosis models that we've gone over in a previous video. Here are all the stages of mitosis. We have um, interphase with the two centrioles next to each other, prophase with the centrioles migrating. Some instructors do the late prophase, I don't. This is metaphase, you can see the chromosomes, you can see the centriole, the little black dot, you can see the spindle fiber, the reddish or orange looking line. Here's early anaphase and late anaphase. I don't do the late, so this is anaphase, and that's telophase. When telophase is over, you can see cytokinesis occurring here. Both cells go back to interphase, and they're exact copies of this, and they are called daughter cells, okay? So those are all the phases of mitosis, are all the stages. Interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then daughter cells back in interphase. If I go to the next slide, it will show you interphase, prophase, early and late. Again, I'm not doing the late prophase. Go to the next slide. There's metaphase. You can see the chromosomes very clearly, a nice spindle fiber and the centrioles. We have early and late anaphase. Again, I'm not doing the late anaphase. This is anaphase. You can see the centrioles, the spindle fibers, and the chromosomes. And then we have telophase with cytokinesis. You can see the nucleus forming here. And then we have two complete cells that are called daughter cells that are identical to the original cell. So those are the mitosis models, okay? So let me go back to my files. I'm going to go back to Lab Practical 1. It's kind of not, it's not the smoothest navigation. We're working on it. Then we go to the slides. So the histology slides for mitosis, the first slide you want to see is this one. This has several phases. Now, <clears throat> when you do look under a microscope, you're looking at a whole bunch of cells and, and a developmental stage of a fish. This is a fish um, where all the cells are rapidly dividing. When they stain the cells, they take this um, little ball of cells, they slice it hundreds of times in paper thin sections, and they would be like looking through saran wrap. So we have to soak them in stains or dyes, they call them stains, so that we can see the cells. The cytoplasm of the cells stains this pinkish color, and the dark stuff is a, is a, is a, is a stain that sticks only to the DNA. And so we can see the chromosomes inside of these cells. <coughs> Excuse me, I wish I could get rid of that. I apologize, but I'm not starting this video over. So in a lot of these cells, I don't see much going on. And I can almost make out the little lines of the nucleus here and there. So this would be a cell. You can see the cell membrane and you can see the nucleus there. So those would be cells that are in interphase. In prophase, the nucleus breaks down and the chromosomes start to condense. And it looks like a dense ball of these little chromosomes. That would be prophase. Eventually, the chromosomes are going to line up in, in metaphase. Here I can see some anaphase. The chromosomes are starting to separate, so that must be anaphase. I can see the cell membrane, but I don't see any nucleus. So every one of these is a cell. These are two excellent cells that show you an excellent version of, of interphase because I can clearly see the nucleus inside the surround cell. So if we were to ask you on a lab test, identify the phase of mitosis at the pointer. Interphase. Identify the phase of mitosis at the pointer. Prophase. So now, if I go to the next slide, we actually focus in on specific phases. Now here, I can see that this is clearly right here, this cell is in anaphase. I see two sets of chromosomes waving at each other. Most of these, this one, this one, and this one, look to me like they are prophase because I just see the chromosomes condensed. This is probably metaphase, but it's a weird angle. So I wouldn't ask you that one. But on this slide, I might ask you, please identify the phase of mitosis at the pointer, and you would say anaphase. 
This slide shows you several phases again. So now, if I look at this cell right here, this cell is showing me these, both of these are in interphase. I see a nice little pink nucleus here inside this cell, but not a lot going on. Must be interphase, 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 interphase. Now, when I see the chromosomes condensing into a dense ball, that's definitely prophase. This one right here is prophase. Excellent example. Right here, I see metaphase. The chromosomes are all nicely lined up. I can even make out the spindle fibers. And then over here, this is the beginning of anaphase. I see the chromosomes separating into two distinct lines. Okay. We have another slide that shows you a lot of this. So, if I look down here, I see a nice interphase. I see the nucleus with not a lot going on inside this cell. This would probably be prophase. I see a dense ball of chromosomes with not a lot going on. This is definitely prophase. I can see the, the nucleus has disappeared and the chromosomes are just starting to darken and there's another prophase. This is most likely metaphase right here and a metaphase right there. The chromosomes are starting to line up. Now if you look at this one, this is kind of one of those questionable ones. This is why I don't do the earlies and the lates. But if you look here, you can just see the cell membrane beginning to pinch in and the chromosomes are separating. I would call this telophase because I can see cytokinesis occurring. If I see the cell membrane pinching in, for right now, we're just going to call it telophase. And it's starting to, if you follow the cell membrane around, it pinches in right there and comes back around. So that's a good telophase. Let's see if I have another one. Yes. So here I can see lots of interphase going on here's a metaphase chromosomes are lining up this is an excellent metaphase the chromosomes are nice and tightly lined up and again this is telophase because i can see the cell membrane especially on this side starting to pinch in i see two sets of chromosomes okay so what you will need to recognize is if we put one of these slides up we're going to put a pointer on it and say please identify the phase of mitosis and we'll point to one single cell. We'll have a big arrow coming across here like my hand going, please identify the phase of mitosis at the pointer. Please identify the phase of mitosis at the pointer. And it'll be one of these slides and it'll be pretty clear to you, hopefully, that um, which phase we're pointing to is whichever phase, okay? I'm gonna back up again, prophase. This one's a little tough to tell. It's the end of prophase, the beginning of metaphase. This is telophase because it's pinching in. There's a beautiful interphase right there. Nice clear nucleus. Okay. If I go back one more slide, let me review this with you. This is textbook metaphase. I can see the chromosomes lined up. I see the two centrioles there with some spindle fibers. This is anaphase. Chromosomes are separating. That looks like it's, uh, that one's hard to tell, but I would call it prophase for now. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, the, these are an interphase. These are a prophase. I can still kind of make out the nucleus, but I see the chromosomes condensing. And then that's anaphase. The chromosomes are certainly separating, but I don't see the cell pinching in. So, I hope that you guys have a pretty decent idea of what both the models and the slides look like. For the slides, we're not gonna ask you anything other than ID the phase of mitosis, ID the phase of mitosis, ID the phase of mitosis. We'll try to pick pretty clear ones because again, we're not getting a chance to explore on the microscope and spend a lot of time doing this. I hope you learned something. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, and I hope you've watched the mitosis lecture video first so that you understand why we need to know this. How does our body go from a single cell to all of the cells that we have? It's because the cells divide and divide and divide and divide by mitosis. Anyway, do this till you can't stand it, do it five more times. Do it till you can teach it to someone else. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I'll see you in the next video.